Hi everyone. Um, I had a little time on my hands, so I decided to do a video. Um, I want to speak on a lot of what was going on in the media. I never really did a video or re I really um, expressed myself fully on how my take on what's going on in basically the United States or just worldwide because I think it's a worldwide issue um, on what's going on so let's get started um, I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible because I have something I need to be doing so here we go we have um, a lot going on with the politics a lot going on with uh, black against white we have the police against the citizens and we have just a whole thing going on turmoil with the young against the old um, the gays against the straight and it's like uh, it's just a whole um, war it's just uh, it's a national war going on and it is it's it's like it's unspoken but it is happening it's a movement so I'm gonna first of all talk on what my point of view my perspective on these things and the first thing I want to say to speak on is about what's going on with the police and the citizens okay um I think it's an equal it's an equal injustice people are really uh, feeling rather emotional about what's going on with the justice system the police the citizens and they're feeling like the citizens are being abused they feel like the citizens are being um, exposed to injustice which is true to an extent now there there's two sides of this uh, situation you have the side um, of the citizen as well you have some citizens who are not willing to um, they're not willing to compromise or just uh, abide by the laws and rules that you know that have been uh, you know set aside and the you know those standards have already been established to take the necessary precautions to ensure them that they will not be hurt in the line of crossing the police in his line of work or duty or whatever so um you have those citizens who are not uh, cooperating and following the necessary precautions it would take for them to keep themselves safe. You have the corrupted officers and you do have um, uh, the citizens who are not uh, cooperating. So it's two sides of the story but I think we sometimes uh, play victim we victimize the citizens more so than looking at the whole picture and taking the um, the perspective of the officers or the law into consideration sometimes we just overlook that and yes there are corrupted officers and there is injustice I am not the one to uh, point fingers or to I, I'm going to always stick with the good guy and if I see injustice I'm just going to mention it on my perspective and if I am wrong I'm not above being corrected like I am always wrong I'm always making mistakes and some of my videos I say things wrong I may give out information that may be not correct so I am not above being wrong. I'm not sitting here like I'm some kind of philosopher. I'm just giving my perspective on what I think. So, um, 
So when you sit and you uh, add fuel to the fire on some people are just like it's, it's a new wave now uh, I see a lot of the people I see a lot of what's going on is like everybody's wanting to be a part of some type of movement you know whether they know what's going on or they've done their research or whatnot they're just willing to join in on whatever is presented or um has been um programmed in their mind to to for them to um feel like they're a part of something positive but sometimes you have to understand that a lot of these things that go on makes money for the government like guns bring money um war bring money all of this stuff some of this stuff has been um I would think has just been put out there just to stir up more confusion like war makes money um, a lot of this drama all of this chaos sometimes it overshadows the real issue like we are so focused on what we are presented with to where we're not um, we're blinded by that veil to where we're not seeing the big picture of what's really going on because we have been hypnotized and now we're focused on what everyone is saying to do on following what everyone is saying instead of using our own minds to think and to analyze the situation to where we can see past what is hit on our table or present it in front of us to see past that and to see what it actually really is and what's going on in today's society so like with the police thing I'm not saying that um, there is no injustice in the police uh, in the police system and there is like I said there's a balance of both there's equal injustice on the police behalf as well as the citizens behalf you have some citizens that just do not cooperate um, and they're they're making some 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 jobs for the police harder they feel like oh well I'm a victim I'm a I'm a citizen if you do this I will scream I'm a how I will give you a hard time and then you will lose your job and you know you have those citizens who take into consideration what's going on in the world and they will use that um, as a shield they would use that um, in their defense to get their way and you have the, the same thing with the police officers they feel like okay they have this badge they are working with the you know the government and they can use that to their advantage so sometimes things are being taken advantage of on either side and there's injustice on either side so there is a balance and the fact that the media is spitting it out there the way it is it's stirring it up more and the way they're presenting it they're presenting it as if it's a a, a war against police against citizens which it is and it's a war against black against uh, black it's um, police brutalities against black which there is there's a there's a war on not just police brutality against black but just period they are doing corrupt things not only to the blacks majority blacks but they're doing it to others as well and and it's vice versa so you have to look at the whole picture like you have those citizens who are just heavy because you have to understand these police are out here they're risking their lives as well they're out here the so they're out here trying to do whatever it takes to protect the citizens some of them and you know sometimes their life are their lives are, are being threatened 
so sometimes they do have to take necessary precautions you know so you have to analyze certain situations you just can't um take what is being presented to you or being set on your on your uh in front of you on your table and just take it you have to use your brain while you still can um so when it comes to politics i do not like to talk about politics and i'm not going to speak too much on this situation but i do think this whole um election it's it's been um very interesting to watch and i think that's all i can about to say about that it's just been very very interesting like if you look at the whole thing like a lot of it even from the past it's this is not the first uh, election that's been like this 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 is just more on the forefront because if Donald Trump haven't hadn't played a role in um, uh, in the media a lot with dealing with um, reality shows and stuff like that it probably wouldn't be as uh, interesting as it is now i'm not gonna give it any names i'm just gonna say interesting so if he had not played a this is just my perspective i feel like he was more background when he wasn't doing reality stuff so he's he and hillary both are both they, they to me they're they're equal um to me they're equal but i some of I, I can some of their uh, views. Hillary, Donald, some of the other candidates, like I can um, relate to more than others. But to me, they're equally. Um, I don't know, commercial. <laughs> I want to say that, but hmm. Um. So, uh, let's see what else. My, um, take on things, like, as far as this movement going on, when it comes to the black, black, all, black lives matter, all lives matter, Becky with the good hair, um, things like that. Okay, so, y'all ready for it? So like um I've been watching and I am not anti white. I'm not anti black. I'm not anti any type of race. I'm pro every race and I love who I am. So that's what I'm going to first of all say because I feel like uh certain things like I said that the media presents to us is just adding fuel to whatever is stirring up more turmoil than necessary um some of the entertainers are there is a part of their job to do things to bring in certain things brings in money it's so it's a movement now so they're doing what they are being coached to you know coached to do there these things aren't just happening they're not just happening like you have to really you have to pay attention because if you don't you will just follow the crowd and you won't know exactly what you're following now that there's a movement going on but it's not my kind of movement i'm more of like i would like um i would like for the african or the blacks or you know just i would like for them to be more educated and aware of who they are where they come from and you know just just know about their selves 
not I it, it, I feel like um the movement that's going on is more of a hate movement. It's not an educating movement. It's more of a, I'm black or I'm this race and um, you're that race. I have this. You have that. I have this. You have that. And who's better? But nobody's better than the other. It's, you, it's You're basically doing what you're just re being repetitive like um now that but uh, it, it's easier to express yourself on social media now that people are able to express themselves more and people are able to pit their feelings on the forefront and let people know where they where what their standards are or how they're feeling they are expressing the fact that I, I, I'm hearing a lot of um, I hate your culture I hate what you've done to me I hate you I hate it's like a hate thing more than a, an informative thing like but I feel like if you're going to go with this if you're going to go you have to be aware of what movement you're following and if you're going to feel these type of ways then what is your movement about like it's more of, it, it's it's not I know it's not a positive movement it's not an awareness movement you're not doing anything to educate or to uplift you're doing you're, you're being as destructive as the people before us you're no better than anyone you're just as uh accountable for the turmoil and chaos and confusion that's going on from the past to now you're 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 reliable for that so be aware of what you are following don't there's no use of beating a dead horse I'm just gonna say like that but there's nothing wrong with being aware and knowing who you are and knowing what you're about and just um, broadening your perspective and just knowing there's nothing wrong with being aware and I hope you guys can take what I'm trying to say from that because you know if I'm sitting here saying I hate you because of your hair or because someone I know likes you because of your hair or your skin and I don't like that because they like you more then what does that make me? What does that make me? I'm just as guilty as the other people before me who were like that who didn't like certain people because of their nationalities their hair so it doesn't make me it doesn't make me any better all I'm doing is stirring up more confusion and I'm presenting to the I'm presenting to the media and I'm presenting to everyone this whole movement of hate again over and over again it's a repetitive movement of hate instead of saying love who you are love 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 where, where is this love there's no love and like I said before um, this makes money that type of movement makes money like yeah so you have to be aware of what you're doing and what type of movements you're following because everything is not what it seems no your no what your no your your purpose of why you're 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 doing these things. Some people are posting all these things on their timeline. They're saying, "Oh, this is horrible. This is oh yes." And um, you know, yeah, black and, and and pro black and pro. Look, um, like I said, I'm pro everyone and every every life matter. Like who? What makes me? What makes you better than me? Like I I I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be like the people before me. I'm not gonna say, well, well, I'm black, I'm better than you, or I'm white, I'm better than you, because you're just like the people who, who 
you know before before us the same mentality so what about everyone is equal but it, I'm not trying to uh, just sweep under the fact that yes there is a lot of injustice within the black community dealing with the government society and all that stuff and yes it's black on black crime and yes it's white on white crime so yeah there's crime in every community every every there's this crime in every nationality and yes blacks do to me i feel like they are the underdog yes um and there is a lot going on but at the end of the day who are you going to be are you going to you know it's not about um being angry at the other race there i i'm not going to sit here and be angry at another race for the way a particular person treated me i'm not going to be mad because this person treated me this way and now I'm mad at this race I may be mad at that person they may be of a different race they may be of the same race but I'm not gonna be mad at the entire race and yes I feel like a lot of what went on in the past yes that was injustice and no you we shouldn't forget about that like why just leave it alone for what but I feel like instead of being violent and um, just I feel like we should be more into learning and yes there are nasty aspects that you know some some of uh, blacks may not like to hear about their whites may not like to hear about yes it's ugly it's the ugly truth but you know that's what it is but you know we, we, you know rather than being bitter let's let's go ahead and expose it for what it is put it out there like there are so many things that we don't know and they're st study hiding because hiding, they're embarrassed so I'm not going to be angry but I'm not going to be a fool either like I do know what happened I do know what I uh, you know the possibilities so awareness that's my thing just being aware of what's going on right now that's my thing like when I post things about what's going on or what I see it's mostly an awareness not a hate like because you have this thing going on where uh, all those victims got they, they were murdered in Florida and it was a tragedy and when I heard about it like I didn't know it was to the extent that it was to me it was presented this way um did you hear about the victims in the Florida shooting at the nightclub I said um yeah it was um they said it was a gay or bisexual nightclub and I said wow um that's awful uh, they just shot up a club in my hometown just the other week ago. I mean, that's just awful. I that and that and I said to them, this is why I do not go to nightclubs. So that was my take on it. It wasn't. Oh my God, that guy was. Whoever did that, they hate gays. They hate black. It was a hate crime to me. It was like mm, nightclubs are dangerous. You know that's the environment you're in now if I had heard about now this I probably would have had that kind of take on it at that moment because I did like I said I didn't know the extent of it if they had presented me some information like this if they had said well did you hear about those group it was a event you know it was a gay event and a gay pride event and not saying that it wasn't a tragedy and some person they, they were just hanging out and it was an event some person just went over there and shot them up I was like oh my god you know they were just hanging out and they got shot up that's just awful like who would do that to people because they're gay that's, that would be my perspective on it but like when I heard about it 
the first thing I heard was like they're at a nightclub they got shot up and to me that happens every day every day like people go to nightclubs they're shooting it up to me when I first got presented with it it wasn't a hate crime it was like wow they're at the club they're getting shot up that's why I don't go to clubs because they're always shooting up the clubs I didn't take it as oh it was this hate crime thing and people were like well oh, it was so many people at the club they were all gay and he shot them maybe maybe it wasn't a hate crime maybe he just shot the club up because he was angry maybe it was but who knows I don't know but that was my perspective on it so people were so quick to jump to these conclusions not knowing the motives behind these events and saying take it, people take sides on everything they they take they they want to jump down the police throats jump down the white throats jump jump down the black the the gays um but like before they even analyze the total situation like and like I said, I did not analyze the total situation. I did not know. But to me, I feel like, wow, they were at the club. That's why I don't go to clubs too often because of that. Now, did they, you know, like I said, if it had been something like, oh, it was a group of gay people walking down the streets. Some guy just shot them up. Like, why would he do that to those gay people? Like, they're just people. Why, why would he do that to those type of, because they're gay? Now that's my head. That's that. That's where my mind would have jumped to. I mean, naturally, me. I would. Like, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. But you know, I'm not. I don't promote, or I don't discourage. I just know my morals or what I think. But I'm not the one to point the finger or judge anyone on their preference. I know my morals and I and if anyone asks me I stick to my standards and I tell them my standards but I, I have gay friends I have white friends I have black friends I have friends of all types of things so I don't have any room to judge anyone because I know like I have my own thing going on I have my own things going on I have my own flaws going on and I have to get right and clean around my doorstep first and get myself together but I do know my standards and I do know what's right and and I'm not saying what is right because I don't know any I can't I'm not the one I know where my standards are I don't know anyone's I can't walk down anyone's uh, path but my own so I love everyone because I don't know anyone's story and I just want I just wish we all could just be happy like but <laughs> doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon so with that um, being said I'm not sure if I cover all the perspective I, perspectives I said I was going to go over but I have to go but with that being said I'm just going to say this um, guys just be aware of what's going on and not what's presenting to present it to you because some things are presented just to cover up or to distract or to promote certain things so know exactly what you're following don't just jump to the crowd perspective oh that's a tragedy oh that's great oh she's perfect oh he's perfect oh he's horrible you know everybody's pointing the fingers at everyone but nobody knows what's really going on all you know is you're watching these programs and that's what they're called program they're meant to program you so be aware of what programs you're watching so with that being said I'm gonna end this because it's got too long and I'm just rambling on I don't know if y'all gonna like this or not so with that being said I'm gonna do I'm gonna um edit my video I was supposed to do the video on the um um geez um what's that video I have on my timeline um mm -mm -mm. I said I was supposed to do a part two and I think I still have the information I should I think I still have the footage for the um what's it called the um the war um the reenactment of the battle of selma yes and so be looking for that or not if i still have it um 
with that being said um let me guys let, let me know what you guys think i mean because like i said I'm, I'm not this is just inside my head um that being said god loves you i do too you guys please have a blessed day i love all of you and um have a perfect wonderful day even if it's going awful and just know that god loves you and so do i peace